lovelies welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of making this beautiful bubble dress with puff sleeves and it has drawstrings at the hem okay so if this looks like what you want to learn how to make then please keep watching this video and did i tell you guys that this video is totally beginner friendly so if you're a beginner you can actually create something like this for yourself okay please don't skip any part of this video because every part of this video is as important thank you so much for stopping by to my returning subscribers thank you so much i love you guys if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i post a new video so guys let's get right into the tutorial so guys for this tutorial we'll be needing a fabric and what i have here is about four yards of silk and this fabric is measuring 44 inches in length so if you are using a fabric that's measuring about 60 inches you'll be needing about three and a half yards of fabric okay so you can use silk you can use crepe you can use ankara okay for this dress and we'll be needing our elastic as well and this elastic here is the half inch elastic okay it's half inch elastic and i have about a yard but we are not going to be using all of this but what I have here is a yard of elastic and of course a matching thread and other sewing tools. So guys, let's get right into it. So I'm going to be folding my fabric into four, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be folding it into four. Like I said, this fabric is measuring 44 inches this is the length of the fabric okay it's very short so i'll be cutting by the width okay i'll be cutting by the width of the fabric so i'm just going to be folding this into four and then i'll show you guys so guys i'm gonna have to fold my fabric and the length i'm working with is 61 inches so if you are working with a tall client and your 60 inches is not enough of course you are going to fold your fabric the way i'm folding and then you might be needing about four yards okay so that means you're going to be working with the fabric width instead of the length to fold okay but if your fabric is 16 inches and your client length or the length you're working with is not up to 60 inches you can just decide to fold by the fabric length and for your fold just make sure you add about three inches to the length okay because this is going to have a rush you're going to have drawstrings by the sides okay on the lower part so you can decide to add like two to three inches so, so guys like i said i've gonna have to fold my fabric into four as you can see here the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my neck width measurements and for this dress i'll be using four inches for my neck width i'll be cutting both the front and the back together okay that's why i folded into four so for this i'll be using four inches okay for the neck width and then for the neck depth, I'll be using 1.5. So I, like I said, I'll be cutting both the front and the back together. And then for this, for the length of the sleeve, how we're going to determine that is that we are going to measure the shoulder. Okay, I'm going to measure the shoulder I'm working with. And the shoulder I'm working with divided by two is eight in is eight inches. I'll go ahead to mark that here. I just hope you can see this, and then I will measure from the eight inches to the end of this fabric, okay, to determine the sleeve length. And what I have here is about 14 inches. Let me move this so you guys can see. So from the neck, from the shoulder to this point, I have 14 inches. So that's going to be our sleeve. So guys, if you have if you have a longer fabric to work with, you can go ahead to use about 16 inches for your sleeve length or more. Okay, I just have about 14 inches here. That's why I'm using this. Okay, like I said, the fabric is 42 inches in length. It's actually short. That's why I'm using this. So you can use 16. This is actually fine, but you can go ahead to use about 16 inches. Okay, or even more. So guys. 
the next thing i'm going to do is to come down by 1.5 inches from this point okay from this point i'll come down by 1.5 inches and then i'm going to slope that into the neckline i'll be using my rule to do that so guys after sloping the next thing i'm going to do is to measure my sleeve width and like i said we'll be using elastic for our sleeve so for this tutorial i'll be using about 14 or let's say i'll be using 15 inches for the width of the sleeve so i just go ahead to measure that from this point down i'll be measuring okay let's use 14 inches i'll use 14 inches i'll just mark 14 inches on this point like so okay and then for for the body of the dress I'll be I'll be I'll be measuring from from the center okay from the center of this piece to the side I'll be measuring um, the hip measurements divided by four plus six inches extra okay this is a bobo it's not supposed to be tight so I'm going to be using six inches extra so from the center to this point the hip I'm working with is 42 inches so divided by four is 10.5 I'm going to mark that and then I'm going to add six inches extra okay so that's going to be the width of our dress so like i said it's a booboo you can decide to add more okay you can add seven inches okay so it's going to be bigger i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding seven inches that's because we need allowance to sew our, our drawstrings okay we need allowance to insert our drawstrings so i'll be using seven inches so that's the hip divided by four plus seven that's I used six and then I'm adding extra one inch for the sewing allowance, okay? So that's seven inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect from the sleeve opening, okay? I'm just going to connect this with a cuff to meet this point like so, and then I'm going to take it straight down to the hem. The next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut. So just watch carefully to see the parts I'm going to cut out. So guys, I finished cutting as you can see. Let me just show you how it looks. So this is the top part as you can see we've not we've not cut our neckline yet okay like i said this is the front and the back so the next thing we're going to do is to be cutting this neckline let me just show you how the body of the dress looks so for the neckline i remember i had measured four inches for the neck width and the neck depth i measured 1.5 and i said this is the front and the back so just go ahead to cut this out okay so after cutting i actually cut the both together i'll take out one piece okay so this piece i'm taking out is going to serve as the back piece and then i'm going to be working on the neckline of the second piece which is going to serve as the front piece So guys this is the front piece like i said and for the neck depth of the front piece i'll be using eight inches you can use eight you can use nine you can even use seven it depends on how deep you want but i think eight inches is perfect for this tutorial so i'll be using eight inches So guys i'll be marking on this eight inches point i'll be marking 1.5 inches from this point straight down to the hem so we're going to be cutting this out but from this point to this point i'm just going to be connecting it okay from the neck width to this point 
I'll go ahead to connect like so. And then from this point, which I said I measured 1.5 inches, I'm going to be connecting it straight down to the hem. So guys, after connecting, I'll just go ahead to cut out okay, from this point down to the hem. I'll be cutting on this line like so. So guys, I'm done cutting. The next thing I'm going to do is to join the shoulder of both front and back pieces together. You can also go ahead to make a notch on the point where you want your front neckline to stop okay you can just make a notch on that point so guys like i said i'll just go ahead to join the shoulder of both front and back pieces together i'll be joining from this point to this point and i'll repeat the same step for the other side as well so this is my dress i'm going to have to join the shoulder of both the front and the back and this is how it looks as you can see so this is where i joined the shoulder this part and then on this other side as well so the next thing we are going to do we are going to fold this into two like this matching the two shoulder seams together and then you're going to be making a notch on the center back just make a notch on this point so remember this is the neckline of the back so i'm making a notch on this point and then i'll go ahead to measure what i have from this point from this point of the neck down to the hem from this point down to the hem of the dress okay just use your tape to measure i measured this and i got about 68 thereabouts i'm not sure of the numbers but i got about 60 something so you are going to add you are going to times that by two because we are going to be fixing our lapel on the two sides so you are just going to use that to cut your lapel and we will we'll be cutting on fold we'll be cutting five inches okay of the lapel on fold and then the length is going to be the length of that okay of the measurement we got and then make it longer make your lapel length longer so it, 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 it doesn't become short when you are trying to join okay so it's better to be excess so you, you trim off the excess than for it to be short so i'll just go ahead to cut the lapel and then show you guys how it looks so guys i'm gonna have to cut my should i call it lapel yeah i'll say lapel and this is measuring five inches width and then the length that we measured from the center back neckline down to the hem of the dress times two okay so i didn't have enough fabric so i had to cut pieces so i'll be joining them together okay so i'll join them together and then i'll go ahead and iron and, and then come show you guys how it looks okay so after draining i'll just go ahead to iron iron it like so just iron it like so and then i'll come show you guys how it looks so guys i'm gonna have to iron this and like i said i cut five inches and unfold it 2.5 inches okay and you can see how long it is i had to join mine because my fabric was not enough like i said my fabric was just 42 inches so i have a lot of joinings if you are working with a fabric of 60 inches you might you might just need to join it just once okay so you just look at the midpoint of your lapel and for me this is my midpoint i'll be using this part that has this joining as a midpoint of my lapel okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to measure the neckline so guys we're going to be measuring from our center back okay the center back of our neckline down to the neck depth of the front so the center back of the back neckline where we had made our notch down to the the neck depth of the front of this piece is measuring about 13 inches like i said you can go ahead to make a notch on yours okay so you know the point where your front neck depth is going to stop 
So I have about 13 inches here. I remember I measured from the center back. So obviously we are going to be timesing this by two. We're going to multiply by two. And we're going to, we are going to get 26 if we multiply by two. So I'll locate the midpoint on my lapel like so, okay? And then I'm going to be marking 13 because this is on fold. So I'll be marking 13. 13 on fold like this, okay? As you can see. This is 13 so we're going to be marking 20 sorry 13 inches on fold if you open it up it's going to be 26 so I'll just mark that like so okay you can just make a notch to indicate the point instead of marking with your chalk so I think I'm just going to be making a notch on the point so this is it I'm gonna head to notch now I'm going to be opening like so okay just watch carefully to understand this step I'm going to be opening my pieces like so and then on this part where I had notched which is our 13 inches from here I'm going to be sewing from here okay straight down to the hem of the dress Okay, I'm going to sew from here down to the hem. This doesn't have a slit. If you want yours to have a slit, you can stop somewhere. You can measure it on the dress from your center back to where you want your slit to stop, okay? And then that's where you're going to sew and stop. But for mine, it's not going to have a slit. As you can see on the thumbnail, there's no slit. So I'll just sew it straight down to the hem and then I'll come show you guys how it looks. So if you are confused about this part, okay, if you, if you cannot locate your notched point, you can go ahead to just measure your 13 inches from the top of your lapel like so okay to this point so you know where you are sewing from so guys after sewing it this is how it looks this is the top part like i said i went ahead to sew from this point straight down okay with a straight stitch so this is how it looks so we are just going to flip like so okay Again, we're going to flip it this way and then we are going to be attaching it to the main dress so what we're going to do is this part here that I said is my midpoint I'm going to be matching it with the midpoint of the back that I had notched on the main dress so guys as you can see this is the part that I notched on the dress so I'm going to be matching this to it okay Way to match it like so and then i'm going to sew like this straight down to the end of this dress to the hem and then i'm going to repeat the same step on this other side as well i'm going to, have to sew it straight down to the hem and then after doing that i'll come show you guys and then i'm also going to i'm going to hem the edge okay this is the sleeve the edge of the sleeve I'll just hem it by about 0.25 or half inch. I don't have too much fabric, so I'll be using 0.25 inch to hem this part, okay? Because we're going to be passing our elastic through this point. So I'm just going to hem it and then come show you guys. So guys, I'll be attaching this elastic to the sleeve, okay? So what I'll be doing is I'll just fold, fold this in. I'm, I'm going to place my elastic like this and then I'm going to fold this in. And then I'll, I'll pin it down I'm going to pin this down and then I'm going to sew by I'll sew very close to the edge like this straight to the end and I'll make sure that I don't sew on my elastic and this elastic is measuring about 10 inches there about so you can use a round sleeve measurement you can subtract an inch or two inches from it it depends on how tight you you want your um, the elastic the, the hand to be okay so for this i cut about 10 and a half there about for this so i cut two pieces i'll be attaching that to the both sleeves and then i'll come show you how it looks so guys as you can see i'm gonna have to add my elastic so when you are sewing your elastic just make sure you pull while sewing okay so it doesn't fall inside the channel so make sure you pull while sewing so i, I have finished sewing my elastic as you can see so the next thing we are going to do now is to join this okay so we are going to be joining the sides of this dress 
and i'll be starting with half inch on this sleeve okay i'll start by joining here by half an inch and then when i go down i'll join by about one inch or 1.5 there about for one inch is okay i'll join it by one inch straight down to the hem and i'll repeat the same step for the other side so for the drawstrings if you want to sew your drawstrings just cut a long piece of fabric okay measuring about 23 inches or very long when you finish sewing you can now go ahead to cut them into pieces but make sure that the one part of it is folded inwards like this okay and then you fold like this again you fold this other side as well and then you go ahead to sew on top like this so you do that till you get to the end okay so guys i'm gonna head to join my sides together i'm gonna head to join my sides and i've also gonna head to hem the lower part okay like i said hem the lower part before joining the sides so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be measuring about 11 inches upwards from the hem okay just measure about 11 inches like so so you can do you can measure yours higher you can do 15 8 lower or higher but i want to use 11 so i'll just measure 11 inches upwards from this point and then i'll be fixing my drawstrings so i'll just open it up like this i might just end up doing 12 so just eyeball it okay to see how you want yours to be Okay, I'll just use 12 inches for mine. So just measure that. And then we're going to take our drawstring and then fix it inside like this. Okay. And then we are going to sew. Make sure you sew the top, okay, to secure it. And then sew this way down, okay. So make sure you overlock your raw edges when you are done or you can also go ahead to fold it inwards like this okay while you sew so you don't have any raw edge on this side where you are fixing your drawstring but for the main dress you of course you have to you have to um overlock it because of the raw edges i'll just go ahead to fix the drawstrings and then come show you the final result of our dress make sure you overlock your raw edges okay don't leave it like this make sure you overlock yours and also as you can see this is the sleeve and then this is the hem okay this is the lower part so guys what i did here i told you guys i was, I was going to come up by 12 inches for to fix my drawstrings i later did 15 because i discovered that 12 was too short so i did 15 inches okay for my drawstrings let me just show you guys how i inserted that as you can see i just went ahead to make a notch i made a notch on the point where i want it to stop and then i inserted it and then i sew on it and then i went ahead to fold in and then i sew from this side straight down i made sure not to sew on my drawstring while i was doing that okay so i did this for both sides so that's all for today's tutorial please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also please don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i post a new video thank you so much for stopping by i love you guys and to my returning subscriber i love you so much thank you guys